Welcome back to the channel, and it's Madden time, baby. And before we head into the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. For today's video, we'll be talking about which are the most profitable cards from this fantasy pack, the Autumn All Star, which is the Thanksgiving players that are going to play Thanksgiving, obviously. And before you open this pack for these leaves, don't forget to do the burnt turkey solos. They give you a free 91, so do those first before you start investing into cards. Just in case you get a duplication and you know, like, oh damn, I can't sell that. Because that one's not auctionable, so you just keep that one. So just do that before you do anything. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about which is the most profitable, profitable cards. So I'm going to show you that right now. Predictions. I don't think he's going to get 60 yards or a total touchdown. He hasn't got 60 yards since like week five against Cincinnati. And a touchdown is when he got a touchdown too. So it's been a long time. Week five, right now we're in week 12. Like about two months, he didn't get a touchdown over 60 receiving yards. So. I mean, he's a boom or bust type of player. He get one catch, and that could be the the two objectives and get 93, and he'll be a top top receiver in the game. So, but um, this guy's really risky. I put him at number four for like the to like for profit list. I put him number four because he's just too risky. Actually, no, no, I won't put him number four. I'll put him at. I'll put him like at number. Yeah, I put him number four. I put number. I put no, actually no. I put him. The number I put in for the profit list, I put him at five. I put him at five. At the profit list, five for him. But here are the stats. So um, he's pretty good. He gets somehow his route running is really good, even though he doesn't get that open in life. So I don't know how to give him that route running. But this card is cracked in mutt with great speed, 95 speed, and then you have the Ravens team would be 96. Like this card is insane. But play fake, he had 90, 90. Like this card is a really good card. Or here's Ebron. I think the best tight end in the game right now, just cause, just cause of his price. Like just 89 he's just way better than Waller, just in my opinion, just for value. And um, for his receptions, I think he might not get this. For he only got, he only got, I think he only got past one game with, with four plus receptions, I think. And he hasn't got a game with 70 yards yet in this season. So this for profit in profit like in a profit list, this card would be would be fourth. Be fourth, be fourth best option for profit. Like, cause these stats are gonna be hard for him to get, cause he really doesn't get that much targets, and his receiving yards are either just like short, and intermediate for touchdowns in the in the goal line, no like big gains, you know. But yeah, and his stats are really good. Would play fake gets at 90 short, 90 middle, which is all you need for tight ends, and he's gonna have 89 speed powered up, and then with Steelers we have 90, 90 total, and 91 if he gets all the way. Um. But yeah, this card is really good. Really good card. All right, here's Desmond Trufant. On the profit list, I put him at the bottom, the last card. Just because I don't think he's going to get a pick against Deshaun Watson. And I don't think he's going to get three tackles. I mean, he could get it with the assisted tackle because it's a total tackle, not a solo tackle. So he could get it just going in there helping somebody. But EB6 on my list. Six for profit list. And here's his stats. He's pretty good. He's a little bit slow on the slower side. But he gets to 90, he gets 90 90 on both zones with 90 press also with lockdown. And we'll power it up with, with um cams. He gets 93 speed and then 94 with a theme team. Either, either Lions or Falcons. And if he gets a plus one, he'd be a top end corner, I think, for sure. If he gets his plus he gets both of the plus twos. For sure. So that's true font. On the prof list, I put on number three out of the six. Just cause he might get an interception because he has been throwing a lot of interceptions this year, even though and Dorn's back. I think he's gonna throw a lot of interceptions still. And the pass pressure could happen. He's a really aggressive corner. Definitely can see both of these happening. So he's my he's at third in the profit list. The stats are good right now, also. He'd be 94 speed. That's top end speed right now for uh, free safety. Even though his hit power is low, don't worry about it. I'll be seeing Deion Sanders flipping Bo Jackson and flipping Derrick Henry and chop cutting him. Like that shit is so fake, but that's what happens in this game. So don't worry about the hit power. Definitely, if he gets uh, those plus twos, he probably get up to like maybe 93 speed if EA is nice, but I think they're 92, so he'd be 95 speed. But he'd be a really good card. Really, really good card. All right, here's Deshaun Watson. On my profit list, he's number one. He's like the most guaranteed to get his objectives. Like to be 93, because line defense is awful. He'd definitely get, get the passing yards for sure, and the four total touchdowns, he could get two for sure, because last week, I think he got four total against New, New England. So I definitely can see that happening. And then here are his stats. Good speed at 89 right now. Good hit throw power at 96. It's probably really good because it's plus, even, a, even one plus one, he'd be really good. Plus two, make him really a top, top, top end corner. I mean, corner, corner um, quarterback. 
even though he's an improviser. He'd be top end. All right, here's Jalen Smith. He's my second on my profit list. Just because he's definitely got those eight tackles. Like, he's a tackle machine. He's always around the ball. But plus two for a sack. It might be 50-50 because he might get signed on the blitz one time and get lucky and get an easy shot through the gap and get a sack on Alex Smith. But besides that, I don't, I don't think so. But he's definitely a guarantee. He'd be number two for profit. And here are his stats. With lockdown, he'll get to 90, which is good. The threshold. And then he'll get 91 speed powered up with Cowboys cam or 90 just through regular cams, no Cowboys. And get decent tackling with the lockdown, get him up. You can put an acrobat on, him, acrobat on him and he'll be good with um on the hook curls, the vert hooks, and all and the mid reads with the 90 zone with the acrobat. He'd, be, he'd probably play like a like a like a corner. But he'd be a little bit slow and slow end, but he'd play like a corner in those hooks when they, when um people do those posts, little posts, or the drags or the slants across, he'd probably play that really good with acrobat with that 90 zone. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out of here.